give me cannon. Okay. Every time Bob starts start, start talking about cannons, all I can start think all I think about is cannon movies. <laughs> what was that one? Uh, oh, what was that one that they did? Uh, that was uh, oh fuck, what was it called? I, I forget. It's got the toupee that uh, was um, like uh, oh oh Bill, Bill oh, Shatner. Fuck. No, <laughs> Walter um, Koenig. Shit, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, because it had the it had the you know the creeps. It was always you know. Oh the, yeah, 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 was, yeah. It was it was the creeps. The guy, uh, the guy who who, who uh, his uh, uh, his, his all his all, all his family, all his friends are dead and <laughs> raped and uh, and, and gone. They're gonna and leave just... you here to get raped and murdered and raped again. Um, <laughs> the guy who the guy whose pro uh, uh, his his plan to solve solve the crime problem is to mail. I order mail ordered a gun. I mail ordered a gun. <laughs> No Navy tech. No, I'm not doing Switzerland. French pastries like have risen up in about, Strasbourg. Go figure. If you'd like to know what we're talking about, me and Ben frequent a show called. Well, we frequently watch a show called uh, "Best of the Worst" by Red Letter Media. Watch it if you enjoy bad movies and funny commentaries and shit like that. It's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's great. I'd also recommend to check out their commentaries and the riff track or the riff tracks slash commentaries of uh, movies they have on their website. I think they just did uh, RoboCop, uh, and they do a lot of like movies that are good and bad and stuff like that. Oh yes, yes, yes! Brew all of the booze. <laughs> and you know, because you said it, Ben, I actually rewatched the episode about Getavan. Oh, that's a good one. I like how the name is also a, a measure even, of incompetence. Even. In the on-screen title page, it's lacking the space. It says yeah, Getavin on screen. It's not yeah, just printed on the even. box. It's on yeah. screen. It's printed on the box twice like that. It's printed on the box <laughs> twice. No... It's on the spine and on the cover. And on the back, in the description, it's Getavin instead of Get Even. But also, like, like when they were making the movie, it's on the frames. Yeah. Oh my it's god. Beautiful. It's beautiful. God, I found another Great. scientist in the Alps! Thomas Steele! Or is that is that is is Thomas a, a a methodology in making steel? I don't know. Hey Bob, remember riding with death MST3K? I love MST3K, but I mean all the movies are forgettable though. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. You you hey, watch that? Not all of them. Not all of them. Space Mutiny sticks out. So, uh, Future War was the one that stuck out the most for me. Oh, oh, oh yes, Future War is good. I like I like um I like uh, Space Mutiny because it has Red Brown in it, and Red Brown is one of the best Z list action stars you can find. Uh, he's he's almost entire he's almost entirely talentless, uh, and that is that is the best. <laughs> Like you're here because you have muscles and you don't charge us a lot to film you. You can also scream really loud, somewhat. <laughs> Hello. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we might have him. Uh, we might have a disconnect here. Yeah, that's the noise of a disconnect. Yeah, there it goes again. And again. And there's the server lost. I'm gonna keep this going for right now, because I don't have anything else I can do. Uh, usually this lasts maybe a minute or two. Uh, just random disconnect on my internet. Uh, just gonna give it a minute, and I'll keep talking. Guess I'll close this, and uh, I guess I'll have to quit and restart the whole game. So let me get my thing up here and quit. Okay. 
is to keep recording though because uh, it's re well because I have it set to record let's just I'll delete that delete that <sighs> I always hate when this happens so we'll just start the game back up because we're going to need to whenever uh, we go back in Just get the mod correct and start. It's going to be off center for a minute while the uh, game loads up. <sighs> That's unfortunate, but we should be able to get the game back up quickly when I get back up and running. There we go, that's centered now. <sighs> now I just have to wait for my internet to come back on. Let's checking stuff here. It is A downing of my internet looks like because my phone has also lost its connection so while I wait I'm just going to uh, just gonna cut until I get back uh, till I get back online so uh, yep there'll be a cut here and we'll be back when I'm back in the game and the mod folder itself it's also on the server then you're going to go ahead and upload the mod in, in, in its entirety to the server, is what you're going to do, in the in the proper folder, and then add the key to the key folder again. And then it should be good to go. My chat wants to know if you're going to form the um, MGC. MGC? North, North German, German Federation. Federation. Oh, NGC. Eventually. <laughs> yeah, when you get uh, actually is the, game, is the game rehosted? Yeah. Okay. Did a combine hit a power pole? No, my internet just cut out for like a minute. Uh, That's my favorite Star Trek episode? Jesus. Um, Tarmok? Oh, there's so many. <laughs> Shaka when the walls fell. Uh, <laughs> there's, um... Bob and I could fight a war just quoting that. <laughs> <laughs> Timba, his arms wide. <laughs> The River Tabak in winter! <laughs> oh. Um, I mean, there's. do you want to do it by, like, series, maybe, per tweet? Because it's really hard to get, like, a yeah, favorite but, episode of the entire okay, thing. Let's, let's give us the give us the cliff notes, Bob, of, uh, on this question from each series. Uh, okay, I and would have to say... Not including Discovery. <laughs> no, including Discovery. <laughs> Make it hard! <laughs> Can I, just, I like the can, one where the uh, ship flips around in circles and disappears into different dimensions for no reason. Can can I offer just carving my eyes out with a grapefruit spoon <laughs> on that on discovery instead? I'll, I'll allow just take it. that. <laughs> um, for the original series, Balance of Terror, uh, just because it was, I think it was uh, probably one of the best well done combat episodes of Star Trek for the original series. That jives really well with the rest of the uh, the uh, series franchises out there for it. So um, there's that. TNG, uh, this is kind of a two-parter, but actually, I mean, that's kind of a tie, I would say, between Unification and Best of Both Worlds, which are both two-parters, which are both really well done uh, for that. TNG does do really good two-part episodes. It does. Chain of Command will come in a very, very close second. Get Another it done. Another two-parter. Get it done. Then um, Deep Space Nine, Pale Moonlight. Which I don't know He's, the Deep Space Nine episodes by heart. Which one's that, Bob? You're gonna have to help me. So that's the one where Cisco uh, helps in the killing of a uh, Romulan. Oh, that ambassador. one's great! It's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Actually, you I guys think, couldn't uh, see it, but I was although, I was holding up the data stick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, although I don't. Uh, although I do like the memeability of that scene, I actually do legitimately like the monologue at the end of that. Oh, it's great. Episode. It's great. It's, it's really, really it's well done. Well, it's it's what I really like about that is that, you know, they all do this horrible, that. horrible thing, and it works. 
And they just actually, I have to say, movie. Deep Space Nine is probably my favorite series. Oh, In all yeah. honesty, Deep Space Nine is great. Well, that's two sets right there. So, it, 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 I've got a request for Voyager. Um, oh. So, I'm. Is it Year of Hell? <laughs> no, because they didn't actually like stick with it. Because that would have been amazing if it was actually like a whole season, and it didn't uh, actually come to fruition. So, I think that's what they originally intended. But the it was it was the that. original intent of it. But then uh, they yeah. didn't do it, so I was upset by that. But... Studio said, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, for Voyager, the first episode, because the rest of it was kind of, eh. The rest of it sucked? <laughs> right, yeah. Can I, can I, can I put one thing, can I, can I suggest one episode? Mostly just for the ending of it. I don't remember the name of it, but it's the episode in which some of the crew are stuck in with a, uh, like this simulation, uh, that... God, there's so many of Voyager like that, though. Is that the one with the clown? Well, they get... The evil clown? The clown. Yeah, the evil clown one. Mostly because There's I love the clown, end. Right? Well, I know I love at the end because it's uh, it's Janeway. Tri it, I love Janeway's like this complete 180 of a character, and I love her. You know what? Uh, what I love... I... Oh, sorry, you continue. Let, let you finish. Well, no, I just I just love it because it's like uh, it's uh, you have to watch it to get it. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but it was a really interesting kind of tonal shift for the episode, and I think it worked really well. That's yeah. just my. That's just me. I like Enterprise. the one where they where there were, there was aliens that were like invading their dreams, and they saw all these. They, they would have these weird dreams with the aliens in them, and the aliens were sleeping, like underneath the surface of a planet, and they were going after the the, the Voyager's crew in their dreams. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Am I alone here? Okay. All right. Bye. Enterprise, uh, there's actually, there's a three-part arc in Enterprise in the fourth Hold season that's really, really good, which which has to do with, again, it's Romulans, actually, trying to instill a war between the Andorians, Tellarites, and, like, well, you know, humans weren't involved at that point, but, um, between the Tellarites and the Andorians, and um, I forget the, the name of the first, uh, Babel 1, I don't remember the second one, the third one is the Enar, so that was a really good series, or arc by... Enterprise's four season. And then we're really gonna make me do Discovery. <laughs> yeah. Pick one. God. Uh... Is it gonna be the first episode, uh, or or is it gonna be the last one? Because that that meant you didn't have to watch it anymore. What is? I don't have the Discovery ones memorized all that well, just because when I haven't watched them over and over, like the other Star Trek series, because I don't want to. Well, why would you? I wouldn't want to. It's <laughs> terrible. But I, I, whatever, whatever one is the one where the security officer on board the Discovery decides, hey, you know what would be a really good idea is we take down the force field of this giant tardigrade monster thing and start shooting at it to see what kills it, and then it rips her apart. That's my favorite <laughs> episode because of that. Mostly because it just got rid of that character? Yes, because that character was so fucking dumb. There, like, a lot of the, like a lot of the discovery. Them? I. Hmm. I'm hard pressed. <laughs> because I only watched like three or four episodes and I thought everyone was an idiot. Well, they are because they're written. Idiot. To be an idiot. I mean, encouraging. Well, no, it's just. I mean, it's just a thing where, like, the. the it... You can't tell me they're not written to be idiots. Do you know who. Do, do you. Do you... Well, the, the, the main characters are, are, are not really written to be idiots so much as. There are people, Michael Burnham uh, isn't an idiot. No, she's an idiot. My, Michael Michael Burnham is a is an emotionally confused individual. <laughs> That's what she is. Which is stupid because the whole pilot episode is like she's a fucking raised by fucking Vulcans and she's all Vulcany. And then the first fucking thing she does is go into a fit of rage and murder. Didn't someone. we establish that's because that's yeah, because Spock's I, father's a okay, really poor we Vulcan? Re we were requests. Yeah, I, it's a what's shit up? Vulcan. Bob, what are your thoughts on Orville? From or Orville is fucking amazing. Orville is the it's best funny. new Star Trek series in years. Yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> I watched it too. Uh, what was the? It was it was really early in the season, but it's the one where the uh, the uh, population is on a generational ship, but they don't know it. Uh, I forget the name of it, um, but you know the one I'm talking about, where the they encounter like a big generational ship. The population of it are uh, they think that that's their whole world. Um, I love that one. I think that one's really interesting. Hey Ben. Hey Bob. I'm uh I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pressure you. Into doing what? Under pressure. Do 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 do. Oh no, we're not gonna do this because this is 25 infamy. If I do this, oh, no, we're gonna let this be. 
What? I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna assume You've you- You've been granted a reprieve! Hey! Hey, Switzerland is growing larger! I gave him a province. And you gave- it was, it was <laughs> gave? I'll allow it. Are you are gonna you, argue? Are you gonna, are you gonna fight me over it? Like, what? Hey, you got to nope. me. When can you push the button? <laughs> Did you push the button? Hey Bob, did they ever explain what happened to the spore drive during the end of the first season? Oh, okay, fuck this so we, we have to we have to we have to take go back a few steps here, which is that uh, <sighs> do we? The, we we do for because I have to convince about it, which everyone loves that when I convince. No, no, it's no, it's it's okay. Let me let's just interject for a hot second. All right, I'll I'll let you have this because you don't complain about me and Ben talking about obscurely. Me and Roach bad go on tangents constantly. I spent yeah, eighteen so. months bitching about Hoi Four. Bob could have his goddamn moment in the sun. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I've got so the the, the amount of stuff happening in the first se the first thirteen episodes, which is the entirety of the first season of Star Trek Discovery, is enough material to fill, you know, pretty much any other Star Trek series full to the brim. And they don't explain or go into depth enough on a lot of these things that it's just you you, be, you get either confused or you're frustrated because it's just like, hey, you guys are trying to solve these problems through essentially just the Mary Sue, you know problem which you know if they, i'm assuming everyone here knows what a mary sue is uh yeah ray yeah. from yeah. star wars <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah exactly almost a test almost a textbook example of that yeah <laughs> thank you i don't have to work for anything <laughs> yeah so um <laughs> i killed the evil leader it just turns to, just yeah. turns to Luke no, Skywalker. No, Roach, see wasn't Roach, that easy Roach, it's like <laughs> that ninja movie where the non-ninja woman just Stabs, that's yeah, that's what I was referencing. Stabs, I was the, referencing. The, like the ninja prime at the end is just like looks over at everybody else is like, why was that so fucking hard for you? <laughs> so sorry, trooper, sorry, how, sorry, how, how goes? <laughs> how goes? So, uh, go ahead, go ahead, Bob. Sorry, sorry. So as you as you're watching the first season of Star Trek Discovery with its spore drive thing, which is you know it's it's kind of a cool science fictiony thing going on. Like I get it. And I certainly had the question when I was watching. It's like, how are they going to solve this? Because spore drive isn't brought up and. And the other Star Trek series, and this what well, this one takes place before the original series, which is with Kirk. completely Kong. contradict Voyager, actually. <laughs> and I mean, every other Star Trek. Yeah, so I I, I didn't know what was going to happen with this, and we we kept getting closer and closer to the end, and it just wasn't getting explained, and it's been Oscar declared war on me. Oh, we go down to speed one, please. Yep, yep, yep. No, yeah, that's fine, fine, Bob. That's fine. I'll allow that too. Actually, we'll, we'll hey, look at the show like War and see your military strength. Oh, France is in. France is in this too? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, on the Austrian side. Sit up, time, yep. while Bob dies. Oh, God, I'm going to get all the fucking French armies again, aren't I? <laughs> God damn it! Animals, leave me alone! All... So the oh, the, the, the Chinese re reunification that's bad. To wrap it up real quick, the spore drive thing was just kind of hand waved at the end of the series, which is just like, yeah, we're just not going to use this anymore. It's like, uh, I okay. You know what got me? You, you, that I, I could kind of understand, like, oh, okay, it's kind of it's uh, it's immoral to use, and uh, people shouldn't be using it, and so we're not. So the Federation proper is not going to use it. But I would say Section Thirty One. Yeah. And Admiral Janeway from the alternate future. Yeah, I just in Voyager. Like both of those make that it's like why do you need to have time travel? To, like why do you need to to do the Borg thing uh future Janeway if this Borg drive exists just br bring the shit back and give them that and go like here's how you make this. This way uh, and don't, don't avoid this cloud because that's a Borg area. Uh and let's not let you die. Uh or you know, endanger myself by doing this because uh, that makes more sense. Conservative just lost a fifth of the slots. Hey. Oh shit! Poland got released. Or oh, not Poland? Um, Who is this? Oh, it is Poland. Poland. Poland, Poland is. Yeah! Poland. Hey. Poland. 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 It's like oh, it's not Poland. Oh, it is. Wait, they're allowed to exist. Nonsense. Yeah. So I. I... That's because it's a co it's congressional. It's Congress Poland. It's a okay. Are we dictation. are we helping them out or? Who's doing what? Um, oh, technically, no I'm allied to, to oh, Russia. God. That 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 was not peaceful, though. Woof. At war with Russia. Good luck, Poland. Oh, huh. I own Cukes is set too. Shit, fuck. 
So, Trooper, uh, am I going to stop the Civil War from happening? This is the HFM mod. The Civil War happened. You start in the Civil War and you got to pick Carlist or you got to oh, pick yeah. uh, Cristiano. I've been dealing with Cristiano Rebels since the start. Or is he talking the about the... Is he talking about the American Civil War? Oh, the American Civil War? Uh, that hasn't happened yet. I'm, I'm... We're one, we're one year away from its historical start. I'm okay with it happening, is all I'm going to say. Oh, because it will reduce their ability, Ew. hopefully, if they're weakened enough by it, uh, to to influence this Ew. area. Oh, socialism is a thing. Karl Marx has just produced his book. All right, all right. So, how do I communist? Uh, a portion of your liberals should uh, split off into communists. Maybe it has to. Maybe we have to wait till the end of the month. Probably one of those things that happens on a monthly basis. Yeah, kill them Frenchies. Kill them good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, how's the war going, Prussia? I'm not actually sure this war is over. The Austro-Prussian Brothers War. What is this for? It's a. They they want you to admit he hegemony. For some great power to concede your leadership over your common cultural union. Yeah. They're, they're trying to say that they're the true Germans. Yeah, it's, it's part of their way of getting the Southern German Confederation, isn't it? They have to do this. Yeah. And, like, win it, which doesn't look likely at a minute. I've just spanked. <laughs> wow. Well, that's because of lo that's because there's a large French army on the German border. Uh, so I got, so. I got so that, that's a but fair no number, but I'm... I, I can't believe that I have... Communist is a subset of socialist. Socialist is the only thing that exists right oh, now. I do. Oh, I communism a is a... Communism comes about uh, once the it's been around for a little while. All right, so I will go to uh, population and encourage socialism. Yeah! Booze and socialists! It's with CS Union, I'll, I'll allow that. So my my plan to sphere uh, sphere uh, South America is actually going really well. I've got Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia all feeding me all their uh, resources, okay. and France's southern forces are well. They have a large army just stuck, just stuck in Africa because they have no navy. What if they get is can they get transit right through Morocco? Uh they they could, but they can't get onto mainland Spain, and I'm not too bothered with them sieging down those provinces, but but they they uh, they'll they just be they could get on mainland Spain. Uh there's a crossing at Gibraltar that they don't need a boat for. Yeah, but they'll need to get transit rights with Britain. Uh no you banks. own Gibraltar. That's what I'm doing. I uh, do not own oh, Gibraltar. Oh you don't. Oh you don't. Oh. Uh actually I'm fairly Certain they don't need to go through Gibraltar, they can just go through Cadiz. Yeah. I think there's also a crossing there. Not sure. Oh god. People are converting to Protestantism here. Ugh. Those <laughs> they let my people go. <laughs> let my people go. Um, well, I guess that's okay. Damn right it is. I'm 56% Protestant. I was, like, I was more, more Catholic before. I'm only 66% Swiss German now. There's 25% Swiss French and some Swiss Italians, and then a little bit of Romanche. Crush them! Crush the French! Beat them! Is, is there any... Just, <laughs> Do it really? now! Do it now! Crush them! Does uh, religion have any real effect on the game in this? Uh, I mean, it's it's another it's another pop that you need to be mindful of yeah, when you're yeah. doing like elections and stuff. And they become militant, they'll like jihad your ass. But yeah. <laughs> um, is the learning curve easier in this or EU4 trooper? Um, I EU4. would say EU4 is easier. EU4. Roach is, oh, I would, Roach is the only odd... Okay, we know you're the odd man out. You think this is super easy, but everybody else has issue with it. See, I, I, I'm the odd one out of thinking that CK2 was easier, whereas useful EU4 was easier. I, I found EU4 challenging compared to CK2. I 
We need more glass. I don't like the fact that China's trying to unify itself. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you, should, you shouldn't allow China to be a thing. I love That's China. Bad. China. China. We'll, we'll get to see if uh, if this mod really does stop China's modernization. Uh, yeah, if China forms and we get to keep playing, then we know it works. How about that for an acid test? Paraguay. This is the hardest paradox game to learn. You should be in my sphere as well. Uh, I would actually probably put forward Hoy 3 is probably the hardest. Yeah, but nobody oh, cares about that because yeah. nobody wants to know how to play Hoy 3. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? No, no. Hoy 3 is pretty challenging. I've, I've tried learning it. It's a toss-up between Hoy 3 and Hoy 2. Hoy 2 Darkest Tower. Specifically, Hoi Two actually didn't really seem that 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 hard to learn. I just the the interface is uh, archaic. It is it is pretty archaic. Kaboom! After a fire at Breslau, what is this? Why does nobody live in Prague anymore? Was there a or is is Red high population density? Red's got to be a high population density. Yeah, it is. That's I may be getting sieged things. behind by the French, but boy, oh boy, am I sieging the Austrians now. I feel bad for the Poles. They enact their presidential dictatorship, <laughs> and and then they they now they're Lava. going to get sieged. Let their people go. Um, guess you'll give CK two and Hoi four. Look, the DLC is usually well. EU four vanilla is perfectly fine and playable. You can just you know get the DLC to add to it. CK2, there's a few that I would say are not, not essential, but certainly improve things, like, a, by a large margin. Where is migration? Why am I not finding migration? Where the fuck is it? There it is. I mean, I, I, I would classify, I mean, because this is still kind of being talked about in my chat a little bit, I would classify Hearts Fire 3 harder than um, Victoria 2, because Victoria 2's combat is a little more basic than Hearts Fire 3, where Hearts Fire 3... Is all about the warfare, so all of its game systems are designed around fighting the world war. Yep. You know, when the civil war starts, give weapons to the CSA. I only make booze. The, the <laughs> wars, wars not <laughs> going good CSA. enough against the French Empire to get some fucking claims. Really, I'm kicking your ass now, France. The tables have turned, my friend. The tables have turned, Han, 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 Han. <laughs> they've actually gone through. They've actually. Uh, they've actually started adding war goals because uh, looks like Bavaria is trying to dismantle constructions and sacks in the in the Saxon area. I assume Prussia's leading this war though. 